Hey guys, welcome back to the Andre Lifestyle YouTube channel. I'm your host, Andre Milla. I often get asked, yo Andre, any tips on how I can better prepare myself before Coast Guard boot camp? To which I always reply the same thing. One, exceed the physical fitness standards. Two, learn how to talk in the correct manner. And three, know your required knowledge. Today I'm going to be going over my best-selling ebook, appropriately titled The Coast Guard Bootcamp Required Knowledge Guide. I'm going to be reading straight from the ebook starting with chapter 1, Learning How to Talk. I want to start off with, in my opinion, the most difficult required knowledge for most recruits, then gradually making it throughout this ebook into the easier required knowledge. Let's get started. The single most difficult thing to learn during Coast Guard boot camp for any recruit is the ability to talk correctly. Now, you might be wondering, what in the world are you talking about, Andre? Well, let me explain. The helmsman that the Coast Guard recruiter gives you before you leave for boot camp shockingly does not say a single word on the way you should speak during Coast Guard boot camp. As you can imagine, I was unpleasantly surprised when I found this stuff out when I was already in Coast Guard boot camp. Let me explain further on what I'm talking about. If you had a question, you wouldn't just raise your hand in class and ask the company commander your question directly. Instead, you would say something like this. Petty Officer Smith, Seaman Recruit, your last name, I request to know, what time do we have to be at the pool tomorrow if we have remedial swim? You see what I'm talking about? It's crazy talk. I'm going to provide you with more examples for different scenarios. Read them, recite them out loud, memorize them, and repeat. This will literally save you hours of sleep at night. Number one, if you want to make a statement, you will say the person's rank and name followed up by seaman recruit, your last name followed up by whatever you want to tell them. Example, Petty Officer Smith, seaman recruit Miller, I have an appointment at the medical center at 1600. Number two, if a company commander asks you a yes or no question, you will respond yes or no followed up by the person's rank and name, the person asking you the question. Example, this is Petty Officer Smith uh, talking to me. Milla, are you prior service? This is my response. Yes, Petty Officer Smith. Number three, if you make a mistake while responding or speaking, you will immediately say the following phrase. Belay my last, followed up by whoever you are answering or speaking to. Example, this is me speaking. Petty Officer Smith, Seaman Recruit Milla, my first general order is to take charge of all govern. Belay my last, Petty Officer Smith. Petty Officer Smith, Seaman Recruit Milla, my first general order is to take charge of this post and all government property in view. Explanation. I know it reads all messy. Let me explain what just happened. In the above example, the company commander asks Seaman Recruit Milla what his first general order was. Seaman Recruit Miller responds in the correct manner up until he makes his first attempt at reciting his first general order. The first general order is to take charge of this post and all government property in view, not to take charge of all government. Seaman Recruit Miller realizes he misspoke while reciting his first general order, so he immediately says the phrase, belay my last, and restarts his whole sentence, speaking in the correct manner and reciting the first general order correctly this time. Now, these are just three examples of how to talk correctly in Coast Guard Boot Camp that I talk about in this ebook. So if you want to know more, I have the link to my ebook in the description below. Chapter 2, Enlisted Ranks. Difficulty level is hard. Wow, this brings back a lot of bad memories for me. Okay, so besides learning how to talk, ranks and shoulder insignias will probably be the most difficult thing you need to learn and memorize in Coast Guard Boot Camp. Talking in the correct manner and spitting out the required knowledge in a quick and confident manner is crucial. Let's take a look. For an E1, you would say, for example, Petty Officer Smith, Seaman Recruit Miller, the shoulder insignia for an Echo 01 is 01 white stripe on a field of blue. For an E2, you would say, in the same format as before, Echo 02 is 02 white stripes. For an E3, you would say in the same format as before, Echo 03 is 03 white stripes. 
So right now you're probably thinking, ah, that wasn't so bad. Let's get into the enlisted ranks of E4 through E6. Okay, so like I said, it's going to get harder as we go higher in rank. This is a prime example. The red stripes on the shoulder insignia and the gold stripes on the collar device are called chevrons. Keep this in mind. In the same format that you talked before with E1 through E3, you would say for an E4 shoulder insignia, Petty Officer Smith, Senior Recruit Miller, the shoulder insignia for an Echo 04 is 01 Red Chevron below 01 White Rating insignia below 01 White Crow. For an E4 color device, in the same format as before, Echo 04 is 01 Gold Chevron below 01 Silver Shield. For an E5, shoulder insignia, in the same format as before, Echo 05 is 02 Red Chevrons. For an E5, collar device, in the same format as before, Echo 05 is 02 Gold Chevrons. For an E6, shoulder uh, insignia, in the same format as before, Echo 06 is 03 Red Chevrons. For an E6, collar device, in the same format as before, Echo 06 is 03 Gold Chevron. I hope that this has opened your mind up as to what I'm talking about when I say know your required knowledge and know how to talk correctly. This is no joke. Unless you've gone through Coast Guard Boot Camp, you have no idea how difficult it is. This ebook will show you everything you need to know. The first two chapters, being physically fit, that's what you need to do right now. Uh, if you guys are interested in purchasing this ebook, uh, I will leave a link in the description below. Please do me a solid and rate this ebook if you do end up purchasing it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, please give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, guys, live the lifestyle that you want to live. Peace.